Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Yard and Gardens. Yet again, of course, you know, spring, we're getting into garden season. I got stuff on the go. And yesterday I got that Mount Royal plum tree. Today, be a good time to get that puppy in the ground, let it start getting itself established, setting a sense of home, you know. I was reading online, doing a little bit of research just to double check what I thought I knew in the first place. And yeah, this is a European style plum. This particular tree is grafted. Um, supposed to get something like 12 feet tall. And the quote from the site I was uh, most recently on amused me, so I'm gonna share it with you. It's uh, basically so abundant that it would be absurd to plant a second one. So I'm very glad to have one of these in the yard. Time to put it actually in the yard. So I am going to throw a few additives into uh, my soil to replant this. Half of that is um, charcoal and ash from the fire pit and the bottom half of that is very moist sawdust from in the chicken coop. So yeah, I'm not too worried about nitrogen burn with that um, so much as providing a long-term carbon source to feed soil biology and such. They, uh, there, there won't be enough of the actual chicken waste in the chicken improved sawdust, as I tend to say, to uh, really be that much of a problem. I was reading on the label that came with this puppy because sometimes it is good to read the directions, folks. And, you know, believe it or not, I do actually engage in those barbaric activities from time to time. And it does say to, to dig a hole roughly twice as wide as the planter. I figure if I shoot for where the logs are at right now, should be good to go. See the grafting point here at the bottom of the tree pretty obvious where that one is so with these grafted trees it's always a good clue to anything that shoots up from below that cut it off it's uh, it's your rootstock it's a good reason that it's there usually um, for for climate a lot of things will be grafted onto a hardier rootstock or they'll be grafted onto a dwarf rootstock to kind of just keep it a little bit shorter 12 feet it could be either or both in this situation but I'm gonna take some of these lowers off. I don't want it to waste energy there right now. We got uh, another one up here. Take that off. Otherwise, pretty much going to leave this alone. It looks like it has been topped at some point. Hopefully you can see that. It's a nice sunny day, so all I've got on the viewfinder here is glare. Anyway, there's a lot of this process. There's really no point putting on camera, like digging a hole and such. But when I get to uh, mixing up the soil and uh, filling it back in. I might just see if I can grab the little woman, do some camera duties for me. All right, I gotta dig me a hole. Fill up a fishing sled. All right, so we've got the hole dug and my lovely assistant is holding up our beautiful plum tree for us here, keeping it fairly straight-ish. I have shaken the roots free from their very root-bound position. Hopefully didn't knock too many of them off. It still seemed to be, well, connected like Muppet fur. Best way to describe it. So, over here I've got some chicken and charcoal enhanced soil that came up from it. We're just going to pack that back in. Hopefully get this tree standing a little bit straighter than the cherry in the back part of the yard. And yeah. We'll be back then. Magic and miracle of YouTube. And presto, through the magic and miracle of YouTube, like I said, we now have one more plum, well, one plum, one more fruit tree, safely, securely planted into the ground, nicely mixed with some carbon-rich organics. Some nice compost in there to hold the rain when it does come and hold the water that we give it. Not to mention, you know, feed soil biology. So there we go, this is in a fairly sunny position. Stopping at only 12 feet, shouldn't be too bad. Easy to harvest, not too much of a shade issue. There you go, the Mont Royal Plum in its forever home. May it happily bear us absurd amounts of fruit. And on that note, that's about where I'm done for the day. Might just take a few minutes tomorrow and plant down that uh, Romeo cherry, Romeo and Juliet. We'll put them beside each other, you know, lovers and all that. But uh, that's not today. So that said, much love, everybody. Happy gardening, and uh, I will see you next time.